Florida Supercon here at the Broward County Convention Center in Fort Lauderdale. The man is a wrestling legend. <laughs> Memphis and everywhere. <laughs> but, but he's such an artist. This is amazing. I've always enjoyed my talks when I ever got the chance to talk to Jerry Lawler. And here he is at Florida Supercon, and it's just amazing. And there's some of the work that he does. It's top rate. It could compare with anybody's artwork. Thank you so much, The King. All right. Just, Jerry, what's it like for you to come here and meet, not only meet the fans, but to showcase some of your artwork? Well, you know what, I, I really enjoy, um, to be perfectly honest with you, I come to these because I'm a fan. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a comic book fan, I'm an art fan, and I'm a celebrity fan, and uh, so me sitting and signing things is sort of secondary. I, I enjoy that, of course. And, uh, and then getting to do some art commissions and that sort of thing, I enjoy that. But I, I mainly come to comic cons because I'm still I'm still a comic book fan, and I just love the atmosphere. Getting to meet all the people here at this particular at this particular comic con, I got to reunite with William Shatner, who back in 2007 uh, inducted me into the WWE Hall of Fame. So get to you know see people like that. And then there's always a lot of other WWE wrestlers on hand. This one has Trish Stratus, Rey Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, uh, Gangrel, a lot of the other uh, you know uh, former WWE stars are here at this one. So it's it's always a lot of fun. I just enjoy going around and seeing people, meeting people for the first time, and doing some artwork. That's the amazing thing too, because Jerry, of course, there are wrestling fans here, but there are a lot of other types of fans here, and. Just when you got into the, I know the backstory, and we've talked about that, where the art actually helped you get started in pro wrestling when you were a kid. How has your art evolved? How has you, how have you grown as an artist over the years? Well, I don't know. Um, I hope I have, or I feel like I really have. But I, because Jerry, you didn't have any training for this, right? No, 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 not at all. Uh, it was just a God-given ability that I had ever since I was five years old. And one of the things I love about Comic Cons is the first thing I remember drawing were superheroes, Superman, Batman, that sort of thing. And as a kid growing up, I had envisioned or hoped to be a comic book artist for like DC Comics, where I'd grow up and draw Superman and Batman for the comic books. But uh, I wound up somewhere along the line, started drawing some wrestlers, some other kind of superheroes, and met some of them through my artwork wound up getting in the business and I've, I've always kept my hand and uh, a little bit involved in the art but because the wrestling was so time consuming I probably never got to do as much uh, as I wanted with my art uh, but now with these comic cons and my wrestling career has kind of slowed down a little bit I have more chance to uh, spend on my artwork here at these comic cons. Last question for you Michael Kingston over here with Headlocked. Yep. You've done some work for him on his projects and all. What other projects have you been involved in? If you could tell well, us I, anything uh, that you did that you really, really, I know you're proud of everything, but I did, a, I, did a, I did a couple of pieces for DC Comics, which was uh, like my dream come true at, at the time. Back in the day, they started an uh, online comic, uh, online artist uh, section, did some things for them. Uh, actually got paid for, I got, still got the check uh, from, from DC Comics that pay for my art. Um, Dynamite Comics, I still do work for them. They, I did a Zorro cover, I did some Green Hornet work um, for Dynamite. And they got a ton of uh, uh, titles out now, like Vampirilla and that sort of thing. So I still do work for them. And then of course, as you mentioned, Headlock Comics, which is an ongoing series of about a young man that uh, it kind of just shows the inside look at how, uh, what it's like for a young man to try to break into professional wrestling. And I've done the uh, uh, sort of Norman Rockwell-esque covers for uh, all the Headlock comics. I'm working on a brand new one right now. And so uh, I, I, I stay pretty busy with the art. And have you done any WWE comics? I have done WWE. I forgot about that. I've done WWE comic really covers. Uh, yeah, one with uh, Triple H and one with uh, uh, The Undertaker on it. I've done, I think, two different covers for WWE comics. Jerry Lawler, the king, master artist. Thank you so much. My pleasure.